SJB loses key slogan after Kehelia's arrest. SLPP majority wants another five years for Renil. Namal aims for the crown, back to the villages. What happens to the JVP in six months? The leader, Deshita Magakiana, Prothi Pelagasma. SJB loses key slogan after Kehelia's arrest. It is quite historic in times like this that a minister has been arrested and ordered to be remanded. Kehelia Rambuquela was sent into remand custody until the 15th in connection with the controversial human immunoglobulin vaccine scam. Now, posts in social media claim the SJB is worried by losing a key slogan, as it had planned to do a media campaign that the president had influenced the Attorney General to grant bail to Kehelia. There is some truth in that. The SJB had decided to move a second no-confidence motion against Kehelia next week. SJB MP Kavinda Jayawardena said he should not be in the cabinet until the investigation into the scam is concluded. It is no secret that even some in the government were behind the campaign against Kehelia. Their objective was to obtain the health portfolio, which is a den of thieves from the minister to the minor employee. The first no-faith motion by the SJB against Kehelia a few months ago was politically motivated. Renil openly sided with his minister at the time. The motion was defeated. Renil had no option but to remove him from the portfolio amid intensifying pressure because an opinion survey has found health to be the fourth most burning problem of the public. The first three were skyrocketing cost of living, educational issues leading to unemployment, and the deep mistrust in the rule of law. Of the health issues, the immunoglobulin vaccine scam was the main one, where Kehelia stands accused of distributing substandard vaccines and causing millions of losses to the state. Several others were already in remand custody, but Kehelia was not arrested due to a lack of evidence of his direct involvement. Last Monday, the Criminal Investigation Department found very important documents that implicated him in the scam. Both Justice Minister Wijayadasa Rajapaksha and Public Security Minister Tiran Alice informed the President about that and were told not to interfere in judicial matters. The same message went to the top brass at the Presidential Secretariat. Several ministers even wanted Kehelia removed from the cabinet. One told Ranil on the year 01st that he would have resigned had he been accused thus. It was to Kehelia's disadvantage that he evaded giving a statement to the CID. Its top officials sought Tiran's advice. I've told you, as long as I am the minister, do not give in to any pressure. I'll take care of everything. Do what is right. Obtain Attorney General's advice. Minister Alice told them. On an order by the Maligakanda courts, Kehalia went to the CID and after giving a statement for more than 10 hours, he got arrested. At the time, Ranil and Tiran were at the launch of an arts festival in Matara. On Saturday morning, Kehalia was produced before courts and ordered remanded. With that, social media had posts commending Ranil, Tiran and Wijayadasa. It feels as if Ranil's election campaign has already begun. But, despite any order, Kehelia could fake sickness and get admitted to a paying ward at the National Hospital. That has been the norm in the past. SLPP majority wants another five years for Renil. Supporters are perturbed by the indecision of Basel loyalists in the SLPP with regard to the presidential candidate. The party sent a feeler by using Damika Pereira, but both the plan and the man ended up in shame. At a meeting of government parliamentarians at the Presidential Secretariat on the 01st, SLPP General Secretary Sagara said their leaders were still undecided about the election. Last Wednesday, Minister Prasanna Ranatunga was in Ratnapura to attend the District Coordinating Committee meeting. Thereafter, he had a discussion with former local government members at Akila Elawala's office. A member inquired as to what they should do at the presidential polls. Whatever is said, we will have to support President Wickremesinghe. He was the only one who came forward to face the challenge. Tell that truth to your people, he said while having a hot vegetable roti. Answering another question, he pointed to what happened in recent history and said a candidate from an alliance of parties will be the winner. Akila asked about the party's stand. 
My personal opinion is the president should be given another chance. He is the only one who can be trusted. At the moment, there is no room in our party for another. When asked what happens if the personal and party opinions clashed, Prasanna said with conviction that most will take individual decisions and hoped the party would not go against that. If anyone else wins, repression will be at its worst. That is especially so if the JVP wins, he claimed. Talking about other things, one member asked him to look into controlling commodity prices. It is true. But it is something else to say the price of carrots is high. There are other vegetables than carrots at lower prices. Everybody talks about carrots. Are we rabbits to eat carrots at every meal? He asked. Member Mudita Soizo agreed. Noting the value added, tax is not applicable for carrots. Prasanna asked them not to fall prey to such political games. It is natural and has various reasons that prices of vegetables go up and down from time to time. Anyway, the situation will change around March, he added. Prasanna visits the villages and says Ranil should be given another five years. But Basil is not taking that well, sources at the SLPP headquarters say. Tagging along with Prasanna's outlook are the likes of Mahindananda Aluthgamagai, Kanchana Wijesakara, Shehan Semasinghe and Kanaka Herath. Last Thursday, Ranil summoned government party leaders to discuss parliamentary affairs. Before the meeting started, he told Prasanna it was good to attend district coordinating meetings. When the meeting ended, he had talks for nearly an hour separately with Prasanna and Sagala, with agreement to keep things a secret. It seems the results of that meeting could be seen in around a week's time. Whatever talks are held in that direction, the focus is on electing Ranil for five years, with party politics taking a back seat. Namal aims for the crown, back to the villages. In the meantime, Namal Rajapaksa is in a game of his own with his Dasamaha Sena. Last Friday, he was in Anuradhapura to seek blessings of the Jaya Sri Mahabodhi. It is clear he is following in the footsteps of his father. His talk and action as of late make it clear that he has chosen the patriotic path. Dasabala Sina was at a halt with Sanath Nishanta's death. According to the SLPP office, Namal was getting telephone calls from throughout the country. So he resumed it from Anuradhapura, where he paid homage at Ruanweli Stupa and called on the chief prelate of Atamasthana. Now, he plans to visit Grama Niladari divisions every Monday to meet the party's rural leadership. Also, he has taken over Basil's role on a unanimous decision by the Rajapaksa family, with Basil himself included. Their plan is to make Namal the opposition leader at this year's election and see him as president in 2030. Here, the thing is, if the SLPP MPs are willing to remain in the opposition for six years until he becomes the king, what happens to the JVP in six months? As usual, it is now time for the President's Newsline courtesy President's E column by Ahsoka Jayatunga in Washington, D.C. Starting off with the headlines, what happens to the JVP in six months? Secret out from Cunning Fox's mouth. Country has no two governments. RUSF asked for it from Ranil. Ranil's preaching in Kelania. Ranil told a secret to AKD. Teaching cricket from outside the boundary line and JVP. U.S. Mahinda's Washington-style independent celebration? The column begins thus. Presidents get to go to parties every day of the year. For Ranil, it is better to read a book or watch a film on Netflix. But he attended a party thrown for the swearing-in of ten new presidents' councils on Monday. It was hosted by Iraj, son of Romesh de Silva, Chandrika, Harin, Tiran, Ruan, Sagala and SJB's Harsha and Senasinghe were in attendance. With the question asked if he will contest, the cunning fox could not hide it that he will be a non-party common candidate. Sunil Watagala from the NPP asked that the election be held quickly. The cunning fox replied, I told Anura how it will be held. He has hidden it from you. Our man will win. The other did not give up. In another six months, you too will be in our side. Ranil's reply made some smile, while others were quite surprised. Jayatunga then goes on to say that as per, 
The decision not to give new ministerial positions and with agreement from the SLPP, Shashendra and Lohan shared the portfolios of Sanath Nishantha. Anyway, it will now be difficult for the opposition to say the government does not catch thieves. Better things are yet to come. That's it for today.